Next question is from Tad Mills. What are your opinions on the multi-grip bars for benching? I don't have a lot of experience with these. Justin, have you used? Yeah, I've used them. I I mean, I like it. It's it's interesting. It's a different feel. Like with with that uh, sort of a neutral grip, uh, you know, and then coming in for a narrow. I like it a lot for like narrow grip bench pressing, mm. uh, which I've used it for before. Um, but really it's just a slightly different recruitment pattern. You know, I could focus a little bit more on my triceps, you know, for instance, with a narrow grip, but, uh, you know, I, I just look at it as, a, as, as another way to like provide a different type of a stimulus, but that's about it. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel the same way about yeah. it. It's, I think it's neat. It's a neat, yeah. I mean, there's so many cool bars and stuff that are out now. I mean, you just recently brought in the, uh, whatchamacallit. The bison bar. Yeah, yeah. The bison bar. Like, and you know, I don't get a chance to squat with it very often. It was fun to squat with it. Like. Do I necessarily think that it's necessary or it's like so much better than the the straight bar that it's like, oh, this is the the answer? It's like, no, I think it's a cool way to vary. If you're training a lot, right? You train and you've been training consistently for a long time. I think these are all cool tools. Yeah. I don't think it's the, the difference maker of you building this amazing chest because mm -hmm. you got a bar where you can change uh, yeah. the position. I think your... people get really pumped on it when they've had like wrist issues, or, for instance, and like, you know, maybe this is a way that they could put their wrist in sort of a better position where they feel like it's secure and stable, uh, yeah. you know, and that might be some value to that. But um, yeah, like it's just a different thing. Well, I could see that with the close grip because one of the, the well, challenges yeah, you, with the close grip is the angle on the wrist. Yeah, you got to right. break your, you either got to break your wrist or it just feels really weird the way you're doing it. Especially flared, at the bottom. Where right. if you get to do close grip, you can turn it in a neutral position. Yep. It's it's a, a lot more comfortable. Yeah, the reason why I've never messed with these is because uh, I've always done that with dumbbells. So if I wanted oh, my right. if I wanted my wrist neutral, and here's why changing the wrist help gives you uh, maybe different results than uh, than you know with other exercises. It's not necessarily the wrist, but rather where the elbows follow. Mm -hmm. So when I have my my wrist in this neutral position, it more naturally makes my elbows bringing a little closer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can so pull I'm, it in. Yeah, I'm going to get more shoulder recruitment. I'm going to get a little bit more tricep uh, recruitment. So I've just done it with dumbbells. I've done that. I've done incline and flat presses with my wrist neutral elbows in versus, you know, elbows out, you know, kind of body. So I'm stuff. with Justin. I like it for that reason because it, it, you're right. When you when you do a close grip bench press, which I love to do for triceps, you have a, you have a bit of an elbow flare, yeah. which mm -hmm. it would you would get more tricep involved if I could be in the neutral position and tuck my elbows mm -hmm. in. So that bar allows you to do that.